Ross Ladon, come on down. This is your trailer. <laughs> Little Price is Right humor there for you, brother. All right, let's get a nice wide angle here. 30 FBT for twin bunk flying cloud. You will not squeeze more people into, into any Airstream on the market than this one right now. So here's your, uh, here's your interior view. That big handmade door right on the front with screen. Got your stone guards, solar guards up front. Lockable case for your lithium batteries when we get them in there. Covered aluminum propane box, powered tongue jack. Swing on around the side. You got the big, big awning. This is the largest manual awning, uh, which it's, it's, it's easy to do. Um, some people talk about how the flying cloud awnings are a little bit of a pain in the butt, but um, honestly, I find that older folks have a harder time doing it. You're a spry young man. I saw from your ID that you're actually a little bit younger than me, which makes me jealous because I don't have an Airstream yet. Here's your uh, rear hatch here. It's going to be the bunk space right there occupying this. You've got your awning package here too, so that'll come down and keep some of the heat off. On the 30-footer, the street side awnings are two separate ones, so you got one over uh, one of the windows here and another longer one that's going to cover your galley and uh, bedroom window areas. Exterior shower, hot and cold water. You do have black tank flush. There's going to be the location of your dumps. That's quite handy. It's like the perfect spot for it behind your axles. The Airstreams have the smart plug. Uh, this is a much better plug than on any other camper. You usually have like the kind that goes in, twists, and then you have to turn this crappy plastic collar that wears out after a few years. The smart plug, very easy. Flip it up and the plug is gonna plug in and snap into place so it holds still and doesn't wiggle around. You get about 70% better metal to metal connection on that as well. Here's your exhaust for the tankless water heater. Actually, nope, that's the furnace. Uh, big old locker that's gonna be underneath of your twin beds. And then you got another matching one uh, underneath of your other bed. And then behind the propane tank, one more locker that's gonna be going underneath of the cabinetry and a little bit of the bed right there. So you've actually got a ton of exterior storage on this one. And then there's uh, this one that's easy to miss too. This one's gonna go underneath of the bunks as well. Let's head inside. So like I said, Carolina clay, it's nice and neutral so you'll be able to do just about any color scheme that you want in here. Here is the location of your twin beds. I'm 6'5", and I fit in these beds real nicely. So I don't know if you, how big of a guy you are, but I really like these twin beds. They're very comfy. You got some cabinetry here, his and hers, one on each side. Boom, boom. Cabinets up above here. And there's even, uh, if you're not as tall as I am, uh, you can. There's a mirror that shows you, like, oh, what, what's down here? Oh, that there's my keys. I left them right there. So that's actually kind of handy. Uh, here's your smart TV that's going to be able to link up to your sound system up above. So you know, old RV TVs have the crappy little, just barely audible sound. Um, I come from a house of musicians, so having good sound has always been a big deal for us. You'll be able to put the TV sound on your overhead speakers, and if you want to watch a movie or football or something, you're going to have great, excellent sound for that. And just look at this line of cabinetry coming down the side. You will have storage for days. That's not even counting what's going to be down below the galley. Got some storage there. And Airstream always, they actually design a lot of these cabinetry uh, this cabinetry to work with these little sterilite things that they include because it's a lot easier just pulling that out and putting it back down than getting on your hands and knees and having to dig around for it uh, this is going to make a nice uh, about twin size bed sleeping space when you need extra space you got the classic u-shaped dinette which is going to be bigger uh, you can't necessarily seat more people at this but you got more space um, I mean, it looks like you could almost see people, but then you think like knee and leg room is a thing. So you'll basically get one here, two there, and then one more over there. Uh, but the good thing is if you do want to turn this into a bed, it makes actually basically like a full size bed. It's very nice. Let me zoom out a little bit. More. Come over to the galley, convection microwave. No need for an oven when you've got that. Uh, this also has the air fryer capability on it too, which is sweet. Nice big sink, uh, you got a sprayer on there, and then the cutting board cover here, that's just gonna slot right down into there, so you can use that as extra countertop space or cut your veggies up on it. There's your other main TV here as well. Excellent size fridge, 
used to be a bartender, so having enough ice for my cocktails is definitely a must. Uh, so good size freezer and fridge as well. Plenty of room for all the uh, steaks, dogs, burgers, beers, everything. Coming over here, uh, nice hanging closet. Four good sized drawers there as well. Like I said, just you've got a ton, ton of storage space on uh, this size flying cloud. Here's your bunks. And like I said in the email, these, these bunks were redesigned just a few years ago. So the way that this top bunk used to be, it didn't go all the way over to the wall here on this space. It would have been maybe like half this size. Uh, and I mean, honestly, dude, like maybe a seven or eight year old could sleep up there comfortably, but, uh, this is going to be big enough for your boys for years to come. So, and then you got the full size bed down here on the bottom, which is even a little bit bigger. You're not cutting the corner off there, obviously. Um, and there'll be plugs and stuff in there as well, I believe for uh, USB so the kids can charge their stuff up. Yeah, here we go. Here's an example right there. USB A and C so the kids can charge tablets or phones or whatever else in there. Uh, little touch button light that there's no batteries in it, so it's not coming on. Uh, even got your own little window and the max fan right there above to, to keep you cool. Let's poke our head in the bathroom here real quickly. So you got your toilet and shower in one space. Um, on any other 30-foot flying cloud, it, th these would be segre segregated or separated, that is. Um, but you got to make some room for the bunks, obviously. But still plenty of space. Again, at my size, I can sit right down here on the toilet. And I got plenty of leg room. I'm good to go. Let's uh, show what it looks like in the shower. Now, the shower being in the corner here does mean that, you, you know, you're going to probably have to scrunch down just a little bit. But also... You've got this nice seat here. I mean, and I can sit down here and uh, have my head underneath it and just do everything that I need to. And I've got plenty of room. Uh, my knees are well, oops, well within the space. All right, well, we're gonna get that adjusted for you so that doesn't slam shut like that. But that's all part of our process. So anyway, hopefully that's a good look at it for you for now something to wet your whistle while you're waiting on uh, getting some numbers back. But uh, if you want to see anything else closer, just let me know, brother. I'll be happy to come out here and snap a few pics. All right, bye-bye.